Hey lecture I am going to discuss about how to connect MySQL with Tenant Data Studio. So first here I am going to open MySQL Workbench and here you can get this information and after that let's open the Tenant. Now this is here, uh, here you can get metadata, inside metadata here you can get the DB connection. So right click on it and here create connection, click on this create connection. So this is here. I'm going to use for mysql underscore con and after uh, doing this here if you want then you can write purpose description that's to our optional now click on next then here select the database so so many are there I'm going to select mysql so this is mysql and here you need to uh, select the version of mysql so currently i'm using mysql 8 version 8.028 and uh, after that login so there i'm going to login with the root user okay so here let's give a uh, root user password and click on this okay so the same thing you need to apply automatic automatically port that taken so login with the root and give the password and uh, server that is localhost is there you should give and database if you want then you can get give or if you want then you can leave so here i know the database name sakila let's give there and after giving this all correct information click on this test connection so now here you can get the message successful okay and after that click on finish now you can uh, see here mysql con that come there and after that we need to use this uh, schemas so inside sakila here you can get list of tables so you need to use this so how we can do so here you need to go on the or uh, this table schema not table schema here right click on it and then after click on this retrieve schema and uh, it's so selected view synonyms and tables and start that's for all click on next here sakila that come check that and if you want then you can select this all or if you want then you can select some particular or tables into the list if you want then you can select all so this all selected and it's all success and after that click on this next so okay and after that click on this finish so when that done here you can get to uh, this list of tables and there you can get here views so now I'm going if you want then you can utilize this uh, tables inside to uh, inside the jobs so you need you need to do here let's track there and uh, here Oh, this is the jobs let's open the job first test so this is the test jobs so that job is now opening and after that to when that job is open now you can utilize this table so just drag into there and this you can use t mysql draw mysql connection here t create tables and uh, here you can use tdb input tdb output so this for input use that and after that uh, this all detail you can get and after that you can here apply so many operation with that table so this is the way we can connect mysql with talent data studio so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you